Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to talk about ice cream sandwich and will your phone get upgraded to the same and also I would talk about uh, routing your Android phone and should you do the same. I have been lately getting a lot of questions regarding this uh, Android uh, update that's known as ice cream sandwich also known as Android version 4 and I'm going to talk about that. Uh, before I talk about ice cream sandwich, let me give you a brief idea of the current uh, uh, version of Android. The current version of Android that uh, is loaded on most of the Android smartphones is the version 2.3 and this is also known as gingerbread. And if you're using an Android tablet like uh, say a Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 etc. Uh, the, uh, the OS, uh, Android OS that is loaded on the same is Honeycomb and that's uh, 3.0 or 3.1 and uh, it's different the uh, os for the tablet is different as of now and the os for the uh, android phone is different but with android version 4 and that's also known as the ice cream sandwich what google has done is combined the tablet os and the phone os into one so moving forward we'll just have one os for both the tablets and the phones thus unifying the interface thus by doing this uh, ice cream sandwich brings us a new radical layout there is also one major important upgrade that google has done with the ice cream sandwich and i'm going to talk about it a little bit later but uh, i just wanted to talk about this first if you have ever used a iphone or even let's say a windows mobile phone and uh, you must have noticed that how fluid uh, those phones are compared to android even though your android phone might be uh, much more powerful might have a much more powerful processor etc but there is sometimes a visible lag on an android phone but generally if you use a, a iphone you won't find a lag like that and the reason is that the ios they use the gpu acceleration for their entire os even for the 2d elements and whatever screen interactions you do they are accelerated by the graphic processor available on their phone thus they are very smooth but sadly with an android phone that's not the case still gingerbread because you must have noticed that android os is loaded on a lot of phones and uh, in the early days uh, there was not gpu acceleration available on all the phones so what google had done is that instead of using the gpu to uh, paint the uh, user interface etc it they were using the cpu uh, but now with the android version 4 that is the ice cream sandwich uh, the phone needs to have a gpu and all the user elements and the 2d even the 2d elements that you see on the phone that's the general interaction you do with the user interface will all be driven by a gpu thus if uh, you have ever used a ice cream sandwich phone you'll notice that it's extremely fluid and that's due to the gpu acceleration now quite a few of you are asking me will my android phone get upgraded to ice cream sandwich and the sad answer is that majority of the android phones will not get upgraded to ice cream sandwich it's uh, let me be very frank it's not due to the hardware constraint but it is due to the manufacturers many of the manufacturers are just uh, rolling are going to roll out the upgrade for the ice cream sandwich only for their top tier phones i say just about 20 to 25 percent of their phones do understand that these manufacturers like let's say htc samsung motorola etc they don't have any incentive for or upgrading your phone to the latest os they want you to buy a new phone and in the next coming weeks there will be a lot of new phones announced with the ice cream sandwich uh, upgrades uh, so you need to check with your manufacturer if your phone is going to get upgraded or not uh, and let me give you an example of samsung uh, if you notice the popular samsung galaxy s lineup though this phone is perfectly capable of running the ice cream sandwich update samsung has decided not to upgrade the same to ice cream sandwich uh, sadly uh, right now uh, samsung is just going to upgrade uh, just their dual core phones to ice cream sandwich again that's similar with other manufacturers like htc motorola etc but i particularly have to give big thumbs up to sony uh, ericsson because uh, they have come out really clean and they are going to upgrade most of the models of the phone that were launched in 2011 even the popular model like sony xperia neo v is going to get the ice cream sandwich update so kudos to sony uh, sony xperia so the short answer is check uh, with your manufacturer's website to see if your phone is going to get the uh, ice cream sandwich update or not. Uh, the next question that I'm getting uh, a lot is uh, what is this uh, routing of an Android phone and should I do the same? Think of routing as uh, let's say you have a car 
and you open up the engine of the car and modify the same routing is very similar to that you uh, uh, by routing the phone you get access to the entire phone thereby you can load uh, uh, different ROMs on the phone and you, you can even disable whatever things you like so and generally if you do that manufacturers will not honor the warranty uh, so be careful regarding the same and you need to be very careful while uh, routing your phone because the process will differ from model to model and you need to be very specific with which model uh, of phone you have and you need to follow those instructions precisely to route the phone because if you do it uh, wrongly you can break the phone and sadly the manufacturer if you take back they will not honor the warranty but by routing the phone you can get a lot of advantages it's like you can be get better battery life you can overclock the phone you can also let's say a man your manufacturer is not going to uh, give you upgrade of ice cream sandwich but you know that your hardware is per perfectly fine to run ice cream sandwich some developer might have uh, customized a new rom you can load that rom and run ice cream sandwich so by routing you can do all these stuff do i recommend routing the phone no but uh, if you are feeling that you are uh, left out and let's say your phone is running out just out going to run out of warranty go ahead and root it but just be careful while routing your phone i hope you found this video helpful if you found it helpful i'll appreciate if you click on the like button you can also subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button given over here thereby you'll be automatically notified whenever i add a new video that's it for now this is ranjit from tech2bus.com and hopefully i'm going to see you in my next video